All right, Salam on Mike, y'all. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekan Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that sees wearing our true faith sincerity. And yet today, uh, pretty much want to uh, title this lesson, Wait for His Mercy. And that's a quote from uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and 7. You know, because, hey, that's pretty much what we, we can't do none of our own, man. We had no power. We had to wait for you. How about you know, trying to make a way for us, man? And, uh, you know, pretty much uh, just thought about a, a, a scripture uh, in Exodus. The world, from, when we was the Exodus from Egypt, we, we was uh, at the coast and we was uh, at the Red Sea, man. And guess what? You how about you know, made a way. But the thing is, uh, uh it took all night for the for the for the waters to split. Matter, I'm gonna get this, you know. So only thing we can do is wait for you. How about Shimao Shai, man? Because the hell we catch, it seems like is is uh is uh it's overbearing, but the Lord He's not gonna put put us through nothing we can't bear, man. You know. So uh, this is this is Exodus chapter 14, and uh and uh in verse 16. It says, but lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry land through the midst of the sea. See, and Lord, hey, and guess what? Because it, it sometimes feel like you at a dead end, man. But, but guess what? The Lord, he made a way, man, through Moses. You know what I mean? He told him, hey, lift, lift the rod up and, and you're going to divide the sea. Now we're going to jump down. Because this this the part of the waiting, because the Lord He made things dramatic, man. You know, and a matter of fact, I'm gonna continue on. It said, and I and I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon his horses and upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. See, and that's how the Lord got His fame as well, man. That's how the Lord He put us in situations, and it, it's so dramatic, and that's all thing we can do. It is give all praise and glory to you. How about Shem Shah, man? You know, that's the only thing we can do is, is, is sacrifice of the lips. Is give all praise and glory to you. How about Shem Shah? Call on you. How about Shem Shah? You know, because the Lord, you, you you can't do nothing, man. Everything's already predestined, it's already laid out, man. You know, you just got to hope and pray that and, and, and wait that the Lord is going to have mercy on you, man. You know, just these, this little hell here and there that we catch. And even more when when all here break loose, man. Yeah, you know I mean. So this verse, uh, let's see. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down. I'm gonna jump down. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse. As a matter of fact, I can keep going. I can keep going. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh upon on his chariots. And upon his horsemen. See, it said, then shall they know I'm the Lord. When you see this, it, everything's so dramatic, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it was set up dramatically. That you're going to know the energy, how about Shimei Al-Shai, just how the Lord set up. Well, it could, the, the, the waters could have been split instantly, man. But guess what? It took all night, man. So guess what? You had to be patiently waiting. You looking back, hoping that the Egyptians don't come and, you know what I mean, scoop you up. But the Lord set it up. The way everything is, is is dramatic and it's right on time, man. So let's see. Uh, it says, "In the angel of the Most High, which which went before." Oh, uh, and it said the angel with a capital A. So that's your house shot, man. Capital A, man. It said, "Which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face." And stood behind them to turn the chariot. It says, and it and it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and a darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that one came not near the other all the night. See, so the Lord set it up. Well, it you know that that did you can't you can't you you ain't gonna be able to uh uh get in contact with them, man. You know, it says, it says, and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea 
dry land and the waters were divided. And that's the point I want to get. It that he he had a strong east wind all that night. It took all night for the water to to divide. You know, it was uh, uh like these simple Christians. You know, they want to bring that out. They just you know they they just you know grinding into your mind. It just instantly helped. Not knowing that was a it was a process. Just how this 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 uh this what we're going through. It's a process. You know, when you get cleansed. You know, when you when you when you uh. uh you you washing, you bathing, you soak, you know what I mean, bathe, you rinse off, and guess what? You get back to start lathering again, man. That's how it is, man. You know, so when we get this when we catch that fire, catch that heat, man, guess what? The Lord he, he we're not gonna be consumed, man, if, if we are that precious fine metal, man. You know, but if you wood or chaff or something, you're gonna be consumed, you're gonna be burned up. You know, you weren't able to uh, withstand that fire for a long time, just like how wood, you know, because the Lord, uh, 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 I forgot the word, but uh, it's set up it, to, to agitate you, man, you know, to to point of overthrow. I forgot what the word is, but if you wood and you in that fire, it, it, it's a certain, it's, it's going to be a certain point where that wood is going to catch on fire, man, and get consumed, man. You know, so you gotta pray, hope, and pray that you part of that you that precious fine metal, and uh, and you gotta just wait on your how by shimmy out shake. You can't do none of your own, man. So this is the uh, the scripture. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna start it up. Um, uh, in verse four. Uh, Sirach two and four say, "Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully." And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. See, we got to be patient. We have to suffer, man. Because the Lord, you know, he, hey, that's how he showed his power, man. It's, it's dramatic. You know, you got all these things happening to you, you know, but, the, hey, the Lord is doing it for the greater cause, man. You know, so he can get out of honor and glory, man. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. See, you have to get tried, man. You know? Yeah, we, we have to catch this hell, man. You know, at the end of the day, that that gold is trying to fire. Matter of fact, let me get something real quick. Is that 25 and 4, something like that? Because we got to get that, that impurities off of us, man. Let's see. Yeah, kind of, yeah, this is, um, this is Proverbs 25 and 4. It said, take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Yeah, take away the dross. How you take away the dross? Through that fire, man. You know? when you Like I, like I was just bringing up that wood. It, it's on a certain point that wood can withstand fire, man. You know, like you put it in there for a minute. Yeah, it can be a little charred. But it's a certain point where that, that flame will come on that piece of wood, and it will be consumed, man. You know, you you gotta hope and pray that you part of that that that, that you know that, that that gold and that silver, man. You know, and uh, it said for gold is trying to fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It said, believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. See, you gotta believe that Yahweh Shemayosai is gonna uh, deliver you from these things. You know, and it, and sometimes it can be a uh, snap of a finger. Sometimes it's going to take all night. And it's not literally all night. It's, you, you know, you might have to catch hell two months, three months, six months, something like that. You know, a few weeks. You know, how the Lord see fit to, to, to put you in that flame, man. But if you if you part that number, you're not going to be consumed, man. You know, because you know the Lord is going to bring you out of it. You know what I mean? It's, um... Verse 7, it said, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. See, so you you can't you can't do none of your own. If you if, if the Lord set it up the way you can't do this and you can't do that, yeah, you know I mean, hey, don't don't try to make your way and, and try to do what you want to do. Because guess what? You're gonna fall, man. Especially in this dangerous place to fall, which is America. When the Lord got he got you restricted, well, yeah, you know I mean, like you ain't got no car. Hey, the Lord, he 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 said he he put in sending it up the way. Hey, you don't need to go nowhere right now at this time. Yeah, you know I mean, just back and forth, whatever the case may be, man. You know, 
Yeah, or, or however, yeah, you know I mean, you hey, let me read this again. Matter of fact, it said, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. See, and you, you can't get offended, man. You know, you can't be, you know, what I mean, pacing back and forth like I need it now, you know, what I mean, because guess what? You, you want to, you go to uh, lean into your own understanding, or you lean into your own understanding, you're going to fall. You know, we supposed to lean on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So we had to trust in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know, it says, it says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. See? So you you have to you have to be patient, man. You know, you have to you have to be in the lower state. You have to catch this hell, and the Lord is gonna reward you. Yeah, we have, you know, uh, the Lord throws bones here and there. You know, on this side, but ultimately we we hey we want we want deliverance, man. We want mercy, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's get let's get one more scripture. And I just end it off, cause hey, we have to uh, we have to just wait. You know, on your how about some outside, man? You know, yeah, we we catch hell, but the only thing we can do is uh, 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 you know, bear it, man, and get the impurities off us. Like you just read, you read, read the book of the uh, three holy children. Guess what? They wasn't consumed, man. And get and, and then they seen Yahweh shining the flame with them as well, man. They say you seen, have you thrown three men in the fire? But I see four. But that was the Lord, man, keeping them, man. You know, and they, and like I said, they wasn't consumed. So you got to open pray that you part, part of that that that, 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 that choice fine metal, man. You know. And just gotta wait on your how about some outside. That's it. You know what I mean? So this is uh this, I'm gonna end it off with this. This is uh uh first Peter five and six. It says, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time. See, so you is the it's all of your how about some outside that's doing this, man. But guess what? It said he's gonna it, he's gonna exalt you in due time. And you humble yourself, if you just if the I said take it cheerfully. So uh, you you know you catch your hair and, and, and you know it's your, of your eye by shimmy outside. You really can't do nothing, but it's just take it, man. You know. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. See, you got to cast all your cares upon him. So you can't think, well, I can do this. If that him, I can. No, man. The Lord is going to, he's going to make that path for you. Just how, how we just read in Exodus. He made that strong east wind make a way, man. It was a path, you know. You, you feel like it, you think it's a dead end. No, the Lord, he got that. He got a path for you, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just not being revealed yet. You know, it, it's not in time. We said in due time, you know. And when you catch hell, man, and the Lord take you out, you 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 get on another level, man. You know, so it's just like an upgrade, you know. That's all you know I mean. I mean, that's pretty much it. I can I just hold it at the time give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Lady Chiefs, we're on two favorite Saturday. DTA, Abad Babal.